Hello, this is Alex from 3D and CNC.com, and today we're going to remove the build surface from a Wanhao Duplicator i3 Plus. Alright, so let's get started by removing the bed leveling thumb screws. There are four thumb screws that need to be removed, one at each corner of the bed. Be careful not to lose any of the bed leveling springs and set them aside in a safe place. If desired, you can detach the build plate completely by opening up the electronics housing on the bottom of the printer. To fully detach the build plate, you'll have to remove the hotbed wiring and the B temp plug. For safety, before performing this procedure, unplug the machine and let it sit for a while to discharge any capacitors. You might notice I elected to remove one of the screws from the bed for easier access to that corner. The stock Wanhao build surfaces adhesive dissolves in acetone. Wearing gloves and a mask for this procedure would be a good idea. To remove the build surface, I poured some acetone on a plate for easy access. I then dipped my razor blade tool in acetone to dissolve adhesive as I pried at a corner of the build surface. From there, the liberal application of acetone and firmly pulling on the build surface was enough to get the job done. Be warned, this process is quite tedious and requires some strength. After you have the build surface completely removed, clean up the excess glue with acetone, razor blades, and finally wipe it with an acetone-soaked paper towel. Steel wool would have likely worked really well to remove excess adhesive if you happen to have any on hand. After the adhesive is completely removed, reattach your bed and then re-level your bed utilizing your preferred procedure. You can now print on this flat metal surface by utilizing tape or an ABS acetone slurry as shown. Alternatively, you can attach a PEI sheet or a glass panel covered with a build surface of your choosing. Don't forget to subscribe for more cool 3D printer stuff and visit 3dncnc.com for 3D printer parts and sales. Also check out canadianmetric.com for all your metric fastener needs. Canadian Metric can come in pretty handy when you just need a few screws or thingamabobs for a 3D printer or CNC project. Anyways, thanks for watching.